I'm sure you by now you have noticed my shirt is pretty different. And this was an, an intentional buy. Now listen, I love thrift shopping. I mean, I will go thrift shop for a couple of hours and have fun about the bargains that I find. I will brag about, I hate to say it that way, but I will brag about the outfits that I find. And the more that I am becoming myself, I find that my outfits are changing. Now, when I go shopping, I also do these little challenges with myself to see if I can find one of the craziest pieces and use it to help me manage my emotions with standing out. Now, I have pretty much been avoiding standing out in my life. I mean, I hate to say it, but God made us to not fit in. I have wanted to fit in for forever, but it just does not work. I'm fake. <laughs> I use the wrong words. The I use the, the mannerism is different. I mean, my facial expressions. I've tried to copy every little thing that I can think of, but it just doesn't work. I mean, I don't show up like I need to. I'm confused. I'm constantly searching for things to help me be who I'm, who, who I want to be. It just doesn't work. The way that um, I have challenged myself is to wear is by wearing this shirt. Now I have used it on some people and they don't know that they're part of a personal study that I have, but it's not really for them. It's for my sanity. It's for my internal thoughts. I experienced when I wore this shirt into public, number one, before I even left the house, I had to pump myself up. LaDoris, you can't do this. I mean, you can do this. You were meant, you were meant to stand out. Look at all these things that you tried to do to fit in and it hasn't worked. You got to do something different. So when I went into public and I wore this shirt, I got some strange looks. I started feeling a, not a little nervous, a lot of nervousness. I was feeling hot, feeling like I wanted to run and flee, go back to where I came from and change my outfit so that I can fit in. But I said, God dog it, I am not doing that. I stood my ground. I finished the experiment. I worked through my emotions. And I completed the mission. Put it back in the closet on my hanger. And I said to myself, do you want to get rid of this shirt? Because you know, you really, I don't know if you want to keep making yourself like out, putting yourself out there like this. I mean, people are going to talk about your fashion. People are going to talk about, you just look crazy, girl. And then I started to say, well, hmm, back to who am I? Who did God make me to be? Did he make me to fit in or stand out? And I have to embrace, fully embrace that God made me the way that I am. I cannot allow people's thoughts or whatever I think that they're saying about me dictate my actions. Or what's my next step? And so my question to you is, how much weight do you give people? Do you really care that much about standing out that you're not going to do what you actually want to do? This is what I had to come to grips with is that God made me beautifully and wonderfully made. There is absolutely nothing wrong with me. No matter what kind of looks that I get, they will not determine what I do next. And I'm proud of it. I've done a lot of mental work to get to this point in my life. And woo, I am proud of it. Hold on one second. Hold your ears. Ah! ah! Yes! Yes. So I'm challenging you to step into a zone to where, yes, it's going to make you uncomfortable, but do the doggone thing because everybody is working on something. God dog it. Nobody is perfect. I don't care what you see. 
Everybody has something that they're working on behind the scenes. So, what are you going to get to that's going to make you stand out? And I'm not talking about standing out to bring attention to yourself. I'm talking about standing out in a way that you, you're living your life the way God wants you to be. That's what I'm talking about. And when we live like God wants us to be, it's, we're not going to blend in. Some things might be said about us. <laughs> but hey, haven't you said some things about some other people? I mean, relax. Relax a little bit. Allow yourself to work through your emotions and enjoy life as God puts it on your path. And I know this might sound strange. I I just want to end with this. The disruption that I had when I was sick. I thought it was a curse almost. I thought it lasted too doggone long. But boy, I hate to say this out loud because I know some people still might be sick. But the lessons that I learned from being sick, it changed my life. It absolutely changed my life. The more that I just keep living, I cannot even recognize myself from three months ago. Shoot, two two weeks ago. I can't even imagine what my life, where my life is headed because I'm just stepping right on into what God is calling me to. And I'm leaving not necessarily leave any fear behind, but I'm choosing not for it not to take the front seat in my life. It's just coming alongside of me, but it's not the boss. God is. All right, guys, be blessed. And my thoughts are telling me to pray for you, to pray for myself. So let's do the doggone thing, okay? Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you for our emotions that we have because we know that you actually felt everything that we are feeling today. We're not the first ones, actually. And if we are criticized or whatever it is, we're not the first ones. (laughs) So I pray that we can keep our perspectives in the right place. That we can keep adjusting our mindsets. That we can continue to live in our lives the way that you have called us to be. So that work can be done in the places that it needs to be worked on. And I pray that the foundation that I have with you. The relationship that I have overrules everything on social media. Everything that is going to take Try to take your place. I actually refuse (laughs) to allow that to happen. And Lord, I pray for people who are afraid to stand out and be who you have called them to be. Because you have placed us in an area where people need us. People need us to show up how we are supposed to be. And we need people to show up how they're supposed to be. Help us to be honest. People. Help us to be loving and kind with our words. Lord, we know we have all messed up with our words, but we just pray that we can continue to grow and do better. And we pray this in your son, Jesus name. Amen.